As we embark upon our 125th year here at the Urson School, our mission remains the same, and that is to educate our young women leaders of tomorrow. We're doing that by creating a culture and environment that celebrates the whole student. We are dedicated to helping young women find their voice, identify their strengths and talents, and follow their own path. Our mission really is to create leaders, global leaders of our young women. We are devoted to, of course, really stringent academics, and we do it all in the core values of respect for everyone. One of the most important dimensions of education is the social and emotional dimension of every young student's life. All of the students are constantly being encouraged to really discover their interests and be curious about the world and be curious about their own talents. There is something for everyone from science to the arts. So we are always looking to put women in places where they are not traditionally seen. I want to go into the medical field. My mom's is a definite inspiration for that. My role as the Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion is to expose faculty, staff and students to culturally rich social and educational experiences. It's an opportunity for them to be exposed to different types of women within different career paths. One of the great differentiators of the Ursuline School is in its personal development program, which starts in the sixth grade, and it helps them make that transition into teenagerhood and then into high school. The athletic program at the Ursuline School is part of the New York State Public High School Athletic Association. We have this wonderful turf field, we have state-of-the-art tennis courts, and we have a gymnasium. We offer 13 sports and have 31 teams. We are the koalas here at Ursuline. The iHub is an innovative, creative, collaborative space that we offer to all of our students. This hub was designed to be a multi-use learning space that was different from any classroom. It's broken up into two parts. One is for collaborative thinking, in what we call the design thinking process. The other is a very large maker space. One of the things I really love about Ursuline is that it is large enough to offer the best of 21st century education and yet small enough that girls do not get lost here. The relationships that they develop with faculty members through clubs, through classes, through the advisor programs really, really matter. I really like how difficult the classes are here. It's challenging, but in a definite good way. Like it pushes you to be better. Many of our students graduate and receive athletic and academic scholarships to the college of their choice. Our students have earned over $100 million in merit scholarships over the past four years. We like to tell our parents that when they send their daughters here to Ursuline, they are making an investment in their daughter's future that will pay dividends in the end. We are founded in the tradition of St. Angela, who reached out to young women and educated young women many centuries before other people saw the value in that. So we continue to do that today. That statue perfectly symbolizes what we're doing here at the Ursuline School. We are firmly planted upon our foundation and moving forward into the future.